Hello again. Right, this time cauliflower cheese, but cauliflower cheese with a difference. Got a bit here, baking parchment, all right, and the cauliflower. So this is just the whole cauliflower. Just take the leaves off. I'm gonna use them for something else later. Cauliflower goes into the baking parchment, and on top of that, I'm gonna give it a little dust and some turmeric. Turmeric and cauliflower go lovely, beautiful, lovely, lovely flavors. Bit of curry powder, pinch of salt, bit of cracked black pepper, knob of butter, and then just gonna wrap it up. It's not got to be neat in any way. I'm just trying to do it so it seals it, and then just gonna put a couple of sheets of tin foil. Just to make sure that it's doubly held together. Onto a tray, into the oven. That is set 190 degrees. I'm gonna cook it in the oven for around about an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And in the meantime, saucepan's going on the heat. So this is gonna make the cheese sauce. Now the cheese sauce, I have here a little bit of double cream gonna be made by a reduction of cream rather than that old fashioned roux way, which I really like, the white sauce, but this way, it's just gonna be, this is a, just a bit different. I have here some ropey old bits of cheese that are thrown about. I don't know what bit that is, it's just in cling film. I have some half a tub of Philadelphia. I've got a little bit of Parmesan cheese left. There's some Cathedral City and a bit of mozzarella. So the first thing I'm gonna do is reduce that cream down and I'm gonna grate a load of these cheeses into a bowl and then we're going to mix them all together once that's reduced down to give this this cheese sauce that i'm going to keep to one side but this is just like a really good way of using up bits and bobs of cheese that you've got hanging around that's the cheddar done and some of the parmesan the parmesan's great because it's got a lovely kind of salty kick to it so it works i mean it'll work as a seasoning for this sauce okay the double cream reduced by half okay and at this point, cheese is going in. I'm just going to take it off the heat. Cheese gets whisked in and just melted. Thick, rich, gloopy, creamy. And into that, we're also going to put the rest of that Philadelphia. Little dust in the smoked paprika. And you've got this lovely gloopy, creamy cheese sauce. I'm now just going to keep to the side and wait for my cauliflower to be cooked. Okay, my cauliflower, oh, it smells lovely. It's been in the oven for about an hour. I'm just going to open the tin foil up and then open the bag up where it's kind of steamed it. Wow, look at that. Hopefully, you can see that. Okay, with a knife, I'm literally just gonna cut it straight in half and open it out, okay? okay at this point, I'm gonna put the cheese sauce that I made all over the cauliflower. <laughs> and here, I've got mozzarella. I'm just gonna break up mozzarella stick it on the top and I'm going to put it back in the oven let that mozzarella cook and melt and go all gooey but I tell you what I'm going to put a little bit extra smoked paprika I've got some onion stuff here I've got pickled onions I've got some onion jam and I've got some crispy onions and I'm going to use them to finish afterwards but here I've got a little bit of green chili I'm just going to thinly slice it I'm going to put the green chilli as well onto the mozzarella. This is the first time I've ever done this, but I know now, I can tell you now, this will not be the last. This looks amazing. I'm going to stick that back in the oven, nice and hot, and bake it for around about 15 minutes. I'll keep checking it. Right then. It smells amazing. And look at that. Of all these videos that we've done, this so far is most definitely my favourite. Oh, 
cauliflower cheese dripping in cheesy goodness lovely stringy mozzarella look at that you've got this luscious gooey rich cheese sauce so this is a great one to have with a roast dinner however I think it's also super great to have all on its own. This, for everyone who's been asking for some vegetarian ideas, is a great one. Cheesy, rich, delicious, and who doesn't like cauliflower cheese? Anything that you've got floating about in your fridges, anything that you want, inspiration, ideas, please Instagram me, tweet me, drop it sum it on Facebook whatever it can be and I will try I promise to get back to you if you want some expert advice look up bootstrap cook Jack Monroe she's on Twitter she is amazing as well for dishes like this she's just an absolute genius all right so look up Jack keep watching these videos send us some ideas send us some things that you want cooking and we'll get on it